Good morning, and welcome to Daily Dhamma, a letter to our children. Today is February 20th, and our reading is Hope. Hope is tricky. We know it's not a strategy, so hoping to win the lottery is dumb. At the same time, despair is a sin, and its opposite is hope, so there's that. Hope in this sense is akin to a positive attitude, more like faith that tomorrow will be better. It's foolish to count your chickens before they hatch, but it's a lot easier to live with Sonny Jim than with gloomy Gus. We have faith that God has a better handle on things than we have. It's all going to be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Again with Corinthians, we are given three tools. Faith, hope, and charity. And Hope, especially when we have despair. Maybe this is one of the reasons that religion is a a great comfort to people who are under assault or who are experiencing very hard times. Even Stalin decided to let the church come back. He called it the opium of the masses, but he was not above using it for when he needed it to fight the Nazis. So there's that. Our belief is that faith is the result of results. When we do these things, these things happen. When we do those other things, those other things happen. These things keep us relatively safe and sane. Those things make us crazy as can possibly be. And we have a choice about which one, which direction we're going to go. We cannot control the things that happen around us or, or to us, but we do have control over our attitude towards it. It's not the trauma, it's the drama. We always have a choice about our attitude. We find that we are as happy as we want to be. Our attitude is entirely up to us, and we are not the boss. And what is that but hope and faith? So, thank you very much for coming back. It's good to see you. Thank you for subscribing and for your comments. Thank you for going to Amazon and getting the book. We really appreciate that, too. And we hope to see you again very soon. And happy trails to you until we meet again.